Lehigh starting to celebrate a little bit. It's a five-point game. Jordan Hamilton makes it. 82-77. In it comes to Johnson. Johnson for three. No good. No good. And for the second time in three years, Lehigh is going to the NCAA tournament. They are the Patriot League champions. And the Lehigh crowd comes out of the stands to mob the Mountain Hawks at center court. You know, having a great season. Um, we just wanted to be, you know, we, they have something that we wanted. You know, last year they won it. Uh, we lost here at their place. Uh, we thought we got cheated out a little bit, but, you know, that's all in the past. You know, we had to take it uh, one game at a time. And, uh, I mean, we got one. We, we stole one from them. Can you compare the two? I mean, I mean this feels, I mean, I, I started on both, you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like I had a, a, more of a, you know, prime time role in this one, so it feels great. But, you know, I, I did it for the seniors. You know, we, we've been uh, we've been preaching three games in a row. Did it for the seniors, and it's good to good to get a win for them. You know, um, I don't think that we're done. You know, I, I know that the tournament's tough. Um, it's tough to tough to get wins, but you know at the same time, uh, you know we can beat anybody when we play well and play hard. So we'll see where we uh, where we go from here. It's so exciting, you know, just <laughs> one more ring, and uh, man, it's just great. It's just great. Yeah, it's a tough crowd. You know, they always play well at home. You know, they're a tough team. They do a great job of battling throughout the whole game, but luckily we executed tonight and we locked up on defense. Uh, that's how we got the win. Yeah, we did a poor job of uh, containing them a little bit. You know, we got a lot of fouls once they got in a uh, one-on-one double bonus, but besides that, I thought we played our tempo, which was good, and then we, we got a lot of transition buckets as well. Yeah, we did a great job of uh, sustaining their momentum by uh, taking it to them, you know, stopping their runs with big shots. You know, Gabe did a great job in the post. You know, Matthew was great in transition, knocking down shots for us. And, uh, Everybody did a great job all around. That's, that's why we won tonight. I told Coach Reed, let's go flat, you know, let's get a little clear out, give me a little bit of space, let me take the ball at the top and try to create something. You know, he trusts me with the ball at the end of the games, Mackey, they, all the guys trust me. I told him I was going to get the best shot for us, whether it's me shooting it or getting them a shot, and uh, we did that. You know, it's, it's kind of surreal coming this year, I'm coming as a senior, like knowing that this could possibly be my last game. <laughs> It's just unbelievable. Our team stepped up huge. CJ and Gabe played ridiculous. And you know what? I, I love this team. And this team, we're, we're, such a, we're such a family. We're so tight. I never felt anything like this with a basketball team before. And you know what? It showed on the court today. Their fans are crazy. You know, they, they're here They're here 45 minutes before the game, taunting us, doing the layups, doing shooting. You miss a shot, you're going to hear about it from them, you know? And uh, it, it kind of fed us a little bit. We got a little energy from it, and we took it in the most positive way possible. They talked, we absorbed it, and we used it on the court. We played well. Ooh, that's, that's, a, that's a tremendous feeling right now. I love it. Um, it feels good that coach trusts me out there with the fellas. Uh, anything to, to do, anything I can do to help the team win is, is what I'll do. And if that, if that causes to play 37 minutes, three minutes or seven minutes, I'll do it. Anything for the team to win. I loved them both, but I got to say this one, uh, coming into a hostile environment like this, and just the journey we went through this season as a team, um, and pulling together at the end, I, I, I can't say that it could get any sweeter than this. And uh, it was just a great journey we went on. I'm so proud of everyone on the team for sticking together and for really buying into being a family. And that's what got us here. That's what got us this championship. And uh, man, it, it, it's been an amazing journey. And, and no better way to win it, end it than this. Well, seniors, we really buy into defense, first of all. That's what we take pride in. We don't. We take it personally if, if someone scores on us. And uh, that kind of carried over to the rest of the team, I think. And that's something that just has been ingrained in us from day one since we got out here. And uh, the rest of the team bought in. And now we're, I think we're a really, really good defensive team. And like you said, there's a lot of little things that don't really go notice that go into our defense. And that's what makes us so good. Oh, you might as well have it. I mean, it's a lot of hardware right here. Uh, obviously, the external measures of success are one thing, but I couldn't be happy, more happy for the internal measures of success with our team. When you think about young men who come with a common goal, a common purpose, and dedicate themselves to that, stay true to that, work hard, but work together, and really uphold the values of this fine university. Now that's really something to be proud of, and those are the type of things, along with these memories, that they'll carry with them for the rest of their lives. None of us are finished products, and we still continue to grow, and we use these experiences to grow. One thing that I need to make sure that we're mindful of, first of all, I'd love to give the credit, and I will give the credit to our student athletes. They're the ones who competed, they battled, they uphold the values of what we're really trying to, to progress. But I, I also have to give a lot of consideration to the assistant coaches that are currently on our staff and have been on our staff previously. Because without their efforts, without their intelligence, without their instincts, without their 
pour, them pouring themselves into these young men, we would never have this product either. And there's been a lot of wonderful coaches that have helped establish this program that was part of my journey, that have been with me as a head coach and really contributed tremendously. Uh, some have gone on even to, to lead their own programs, which I'm proud of. And you know now our current group of assistant coaches who have done so much for these young men. So it's really nice to ha see it come together. But I think the bottom line principle is, the most important thing to understand is, that talent is one thing, but when you combine it with character, that's when special things can happen.